Hi friends, MD Vegan. Today is my gentle juice fasting day. That's once a week in the average. Um, I don't take it that seriously, but it has to be once a week. Huh? Maybe I have 10 days in between, two days, two fasting days or four. It doesn't really matter, but you know, in the average, it has to be a long-term project because you know, fasting is a dietary change. And dietary change to be effective has to be permanent. If you just change your diet for a certain time, that doesn't really help you. The body is very, very strong on its um, habits. You know, the, the habits are that what defines us most during day-to-day -day life. We always do the same things. Most of the things we do are always the same. So these habits, they have to be changed if you really want to change in your life. And a dietary change like fasting, only that is no exception yeah? so I try to find a way of fasting that is I continue forever the rest of my life um, and that is that has to be easy so one day a week is enough if I can really keep up with one day a week that's super imagine after one day a week and seven years make the math you fasted a whole year yeah? in a whole year fasting I never did that before. I had really strong ways of fasting, only water for a long time. I tried to be better and better and better, you know, Paul. But then afterwards, you know, the downside came. It's very hard to keep it up and it's a very strong cleansing, you know, it goes very deep and you're confronted with yourself in a very uh, fundamental way. And that is hard to keep up over a long time. You can't do that, but it's very hard. And when I found this way, the gentle juice fasting way, I was, I tried it first, I was reluctant, I said, hmm, but my fasting is so much better, it's so easy, one day, only a week, there's nothing with juices, hmm, it's so easy. But I've been doing that now for eight, nine years or so, telling you it's the best way of fasting ever. It's so easy. I'm looking forward to my fasting day, like today, I was, ah, yeah, no work in the kitchen. Yeah, I make a nice little juice today, I make a new juice every single time, that is the creative part. And by the way, I cleanse my body, not too intense, because next week comes the repeat, comes the continuation, yeah, the next step. So go slow, like a rest, like a prolonged rest. So at night, every night, I have a rest, usually. Yeah. So that is very important for my health, for, for the brain, for the body, for the mind. You know, so it's very important. Of course, we know regeneration, cleansing, yeah. um, refueling. Yeah. <laughs> At night. Uh, the fasting day is like a longer night. It takes a whole day for the digestion. Digestion rests. That's the idea. Reducing calories, dietary change, and um, resting the, di the digestion. Digestion takes the most of the energy of our food, 60%. If you have regular food, 60% of the energy goes into digestion only. On a fasting day, you don't need that energy. All what you take in goes direct into the system yeah, for creativity, for cleansing, yeah, for these kind of things, self-reflection. Yeah. So, <clears> the <throat> short story about fasting here, how to do it, I had to drink a lot. Yeah. I get my veggies and my fruit ahead of time to plan a little bit ahead. You need to plan a little bit ahead. That's fasting requires to do that. It's, I think, a good thing to be a little bit... Um, uh, yeah, to look ahead a little bit, to organize a little bit your life. That's for me that helps a lot. So that's the first thing. I got my 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 fruit, my veggies, my my herbs. Yeah, and then on a fasting day when I have everything ready, I have to drink a lot, four liter to drink. For me, that's my personal marker. Four liter. If I drink that, I feel great. There's no way about that. So meanwhile, four liters. If I drink less, it can be the head begins a little bit, be a little bit stressy, or maybe a little headache comes. So I drink a lot, four liters. That's that's perfect. And what you drink is what I drink is absolutely up to me. I can drink everything. Yeah? It has to be um, rest for digestion because the drink without fiber, fiber is that what cannot be digested, that um, goes directly into the bloodstream. So digestion has really rested, and that's everything I can drink. Coffee, tea doesn't really matter. Yeah. If I feel great, I can drink anything. And fasting is still there. So, and if I if I feel too much, if it's too much, the fasting is too strong, I just eat something. No problem.
problem, not a big deal. I have to feel great because that's why it's called gentle juice fasting. Gentle means non-violent, with compassion to yourself. And to others, of course, the schedule has to be made um, with regard to my friends, my social, social work, or my um, family, or what's, whatever. Um, that other people are not offended by that. I don't take away from them. Like the birthday party, for example, I won't fast. My fasting day is planned on a birthday party, and I'm invited. I don't do fasting that. I do the, I do the birthday party and have my cake there, <laughs> if it's vegan, of course. So that's no problem. I, next day, I, I fast the next day after the birth. I can make a little adjustments. That is also compassion. Yeah. So that's important. Um, this compassionate way also because for myself, if I push myself against the compassion, yeah, violence to myself, healing stops. For the healing, that is important. The, we always do that for health. Yeah, a healthy diet is important. To heal, the energy needs to flow freely in the, in the system. There's an old ancient um, uh, um, knowledge from the traditional medicines. Modern medicine does not talk about energy so much. They have similar things. Like, uh, like a bloodstream is an energy flow, uh, the lymphatic system is an energy flow, the oxygen flow the, is also energy flow. All these kind of things are different a little bit in the ancient uh, traditional sciences like medicine, like uh, Ayurveda or Chinese medicine. They have a little bit of a different idea of energy, but the idea is the same. The floating of the energy, the that is what healing takes place when it's in balance. So that is why if you be violent, you will disrupt the balance and the energy stops flowing, and then the healing stops. So to feel great is the easiest thing to know, the energy flows. If I feel great, the energy flows, yeah. so to say. I make it very easy to understand. There's a lot to, to that, but it doesn't really matter. To, the, to get the idea, you know, that's only day of the idea. You don't need to be too, so precise about everything in detail, uh, in my opinion. So uh, today, now I come to the juice. Yeah, I make a new juice today. Today I make a juice, um, that is the delightful, the, the, the flavor experience. I want that flavor, I want to enjoy. Yeah? Yeah. So I make a juice that is um, a beet juice at the same time, a red juice and a green juice. Yeah. So I do combine basically two different, very different juices. Green juices are very different from red juices, beet juices. Um, both are very strong. Yeah. Beet is... Um, for endurance, yeah. if you drink beet or eat beet, this is one beet root. Two hours later, you get endurance, more endurance. If you want to work out, you can try that. And the science about it, you get better endurance. And this very beet is very strong. And kale, that's my green today, one of the greens I have to. Kale here is the most nutrient dense vegetable we have on this planet. Yeah. Nothing other, no other vegetable has as many nutrients as kale. It's a very powerhouse of energy and it's cleansing. Greens are always cleansing. Uh, they're very, very healthy. Um, so uh, usually I would make only green juice or red juice. But, but uh, as I learn how these juices work, how I make them delicious, I begin to bring them together to make it that is very powerful. If, if you two delicious juices that together also are delicious, wow, the flavor is really exploding. A very a bomb, a bomb of energy uh, when you have so many ingredients. But of course, to make such a juice, I have to learn from scratch. I make, for example, a beet juice with oranges. Yeah, I mean, that is a very easy beet juice you can make. Everyone knows that. You have a beet, yeah, here, and an orange, it's a little bit more, it's three oranges, yeah, and you have a delicious juice. You can't make a beet juice on its own, you need something to it, otherwise, it doesn't taste so well. I would say. And then I have some ginger. The beet orange ginger is a perfect juice. Yeah. And as soon as I found that out, I began, of course, to combine with other juices. For example, what is very interesting, I was so surprised when I began adding mango to the beet here. That was the most revolutionary juice, almost, I have to say, and that I found. This is a whole mango. Because with this, with the the peel, you know, that's not peeled, yeah, just the the seed is out, the pit, and the beet again, yeah. 
The mango beet juice was the most exciting juice I ever made. I, I, I was surprised because juicing mangoes and beets creates a completely new flavor and nothing to do with beet anymore. I thought, what is that? That tastes like, I have a name for that, I call it candy kid flavor. A flavor that reminded me of the sweets I loved as a boy. I was addicted almost to sweets. I loved sweets, and, but it was unhealthy. But this juice now has a similar flavor, like these sweets from a mother little, but it tastes healthy. There's no, no, uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a very simple thing um, to understand. Um, but I don't know why. I don't know why that happens. My idea is the beet is an earth flavor. That means a very complex flavor. You know, and it doesn't taste like sweet. But nevertheless, there's a huge amount of sugar in the beet. We know beet is high in sugar. Carrots are also high in sugar. But beets even more. So there's a lot of sugar in the beet, but it doesn't taste like that. But when you put a fruit to the beet, the earth aroma, yeah, they open up. All of a sudden, the flavors come out. As if you put a light through a prism. The light, the white light, this um, yeah, breaks down into all of the colors. That, to me, seems to be the case with the beet. The earth flavor is like the white light, and you put other flavors to it, like fruit, all of a sudden you have all the flavors there, all the colors. And you get to try that with a beet and the mango. You will be so surprised. I'm sure it works every single time. You don't recognize the beet flavor anymore. And what I found out also, so the beet gives a very big change to the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the mango, changes the beet flavor a lot. Totally, total change. Yeah. The opposite happens with orange. Something I also learned comparing orange and mango, which go nicely together, but if you put an orange to the beet, you still taste the beet. You, you taste a strong earth flavor in a pleasant way. It tastes great. I said that before. Orange and beet tastes like beet. Mango and beet tastes like completely different. Candy kid flavor, a new word. So when I use an orange for the beet mango juice, what I want is I want to keep that flavor from the mango beet and just make the juice longer. That was, that is, the orange, I would say, is the neutral element of the beet juices, the beet flavors. Yeah. It doesn't change the flavor. It makes the juice longer. It's very nice. Yeah. So, I take the orange to make the beet um, mango juice longer, and I add the kale. That's what I tried today. Because yeah. kale is a very strong flavor. It can be bitter. So I don't know if it works. Maybe I have to add more ingredients, but I find out soon. It's a very strong flavor, the mango beet. The orange makes it longer. And the green kale is the experiment here. What happens then? Do I have to, have more, do I have to add more fruit, now, like an apple or a, bee or a pear or something? Or will it taste great? We will see. But I do it a little bit more. I put a little bit more into that because I tried that before adding other ingredients. I will today make a new thing here with the basil. Basil is also a green and it tastes um, fascinating together with orange. Yeah. And it's a very strong Mediterranean herb. Uh, the, the family of Mediterranean herbs um, is cultivated, has been cultivated for, for thousands of years, 2000 years at least. Egyptians already did that. And they have all different um, properties, qualities, effects, benefits, health benefits. Uh, uh, there is a mint, um, there is a basil, there's oregano, thyme, yeah, um, lav lavender. There are so many different uh, herbs in this family from the Mediterranean. And they're all are different. The basil is the wake up her herb. Uh, it's wonderful if you chew a, a, a stem of a, of a, of a basil uh, um, plant, you wake up. There is something in the basil that makes the brain wake up. So it's a wake up herb. They give it to children at school in Italy. They do, they do that for, to wake up the children when they are tired. So basil tastes fascinating with orange. I know they have an orange uh, basil smoothie. Yeah, that's a wonderful combination. So I th I, that's also a reason why I choose the orange here, because I knew I want to make a basil juice. Basil, mango, orange, beet, kale. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I want to see. 
But the basil has a strong flavor as the other green, the kale also, so I hope it will taste still great. If not, I have to improvise and add something else. I don't know, I will try it. But what I do anyway is I will add lemon and ginger today. I do that oftentimes because these two flavors can be together a nice enhancement of the other flavors. Now, lemon and ginger is a pairing it doesn't change so much the other flavors. It gives it more heat, more energy, yeah, lemon and ginger. It lifts the other flavors. So I do that, I like to do that. I, have the, I like this effect, this more powerful, this, this energy from the lemon and ginger, I like that a lot. And I will try uh, to add some lemon peel. Lemon peel has the most nutrients of the lemon, like in general with citrus fruit, the, the, the color outside of the citrus fruit has the most of the, uh, the nutrients, the most important nutrients, the most powerful nutrients. That what makes a lemon taste lemony is in the yellow color. Yeah. The sour flavor is in the juice, in the flesh, and the lemony flavor is in the, in the yellow color. So I will try to use a little bit of that uh, also to make the juice more powerful, but I have to see if it works. I will try that while juicing. I will taste a little bit. Maybe I cannot use all of the peel because it can be too much. It's a very powerful nutrient. What's outside there? It's an, it's an, it's an oil. It's an oil that evaporates. Yeah. So it can be very powerful and it's only in small doses is recommended. So if you just use too much of the peel, the whole juice is uh, doesn't taste anymore. It's, it's, it's completely rotten then. <laughs> you can't you spoil it. You can't you can't do that. So I'll try. I'll try. I'll come back in a moment and I'll show you what this juice tastes like. That's my juice now, and I have a liter, a little bit more. I said, it's a little bit more, just to give you a little bit of an idea what comes out of what, and how many fruit I have, three oranges, one mango, a uh, big bunch of kale, half bunch of uh, basil, uh, one lemon, um, three, four inches of ginger, something like that. Then you get the idea of how much juice that gives a liter or so. That is a whole meal to me. If I, if I drink that slowly, that is important on a fasting day because, as I said, it will not be digested. Digest and rest, it goes, the nutrients go with sugar, a model of sugar, goes directly into the bloodstream. And if I drink it too fast, there could be some problems, yeah, overwhelming with sugar that gives sugar spikes, the so called sugar spikes in the blood, and that can make you dizzy or yeah, not so nice. So drinking it slowly is important because on a fasting day, digestion doesn't work and is a rest and you're overwhelmed with everything you take in, goes directly in. So that's why I take some time to drink that. Yeah. I sip it, drink it slowly and like a meal, you know. So that's what I have now for my meal. And I have to taste it now. I want to know it tastes like. I, I, I wondered if, if I really um, can go with the, with the orange or if I have to add more apple, for example, or a pear, because I added um, the basil and a lot of kale. And sometimes for kale, especially, it's bitter. You need to add something more sweet. So pear would be nice with kale. Kale juice and pear is oftentimes very nice. So I wonder, is that be enough? Now, I have two greens here. Is the orange enough together with the, with the mango? I said, oh, the mango is very strong. It might be enough. So, but I have to try. That's why I'm very curious when it works. Well, let's see. And I used, I used half of the lemon, a little bit more of the lemon peel. Seems to be okay. I tried a little bit, but I didn't want to use that much, but more, half of the, more than half of lemon uh, peel is in there. So let's see if it works. So I see the juice color is the typical beet color. Uh, if you put greens into the, to the, to the beet, uh, to the red, you get a little bit darker usually. But that's the usual color you expect from beet, beet juice. Is always, it's a very rare color in nature. Uh, uh, and it it'll always bears fruit, very strong. So that's a beet color, that's normal. The texture is a thick, it's a thick and creamy juice. So heavy juice. Uh, I see that here. That's my first impression. The second impression, it smells nice. Yeah, the, 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 um, the basil is always uh, present. That's good. It's a nice, pleasant flavor. 
aroma. So, but the flavor, the flavor of the juice is most important, of course, and I will taste that now. Mm, very good. Fruity juice. As I said, the beet <laughs> does not taste through. There is not really an earth flavor there. Instead, it's very fruity. Oh, the lemon is very nice. Yeah, the lemon peel makes it lemony. It's, that gives freshness. The ginger, not too much. It gives a little bit of heat. But it doesn't in the foreground. It's a lot of ginger here, but it doesn't really matter. Because the other ingredients, the greens, the beets, um, they are very strong. So that they can do with a little bit of ginger. Um, so it tastes amazing. Yeah. And um, it's not bitter or so. Yeah. It's a very nice, I cannot really say that's a kale juice from the flavor or a basil juice. That's not there. It's a new flavor. And I said, that's what the, what the mango and the beet together, they do. They create these new fruity flavors, sweet, fruity, uh, so delicious with the lemon here, the sweet and sour. Uh, it's an amazing flavor. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. I can really highly recommend to try this juice. It's seven ingredients, not too difficult. But it has some nice complexions here with the basil. Here you see it's creamy, it's a beautiful color, and it tastes amazing. And I will enjoy right away. <laughs> That's the delight I <laughs> I offer to myself on a fasting day. And I have these always these new juices. It's a new experience, and of course I fully understand that juice only understand. Yeah, <laughs> you, that's a strange word maybe for a flavor. But when I only when I drink all the juice. When I have finished it, then I would know a little bit better what this juice really is like. I did just take a little spoon, teaspoonful of the flavor to say, okay, I like it, it's great. There's nothing completely wrong here. <laughs> Sometimes you notice, oh wow, no, that's not possible. First, first, first place, you see that first sight, oh no. That's a test. But to get it really an impression um, of that recipe, I would say you have to really fully enjoy. Uh, uh, get it get, get it down so to say and then uh, wait a little bit yeah maybe do it next time you do it again you find out if it's still the same quality when you do it again and so all that all that is part of making a recipe yeah to really understand it and to write it down to know exactly what's about you need to do it over and over again of course the first time I did that here but of course I had other juices as I tried to explain a little bit um, what I did before, I did the orange beet juice, I did the mango beet juice, uh, I added basil to the orange, I had an impression, I didn't know, knew a little bit what happens with these ingredients, but adding the kale and the basil, that was new to me today, and I guess it works, but of course I have to drink it to the end to really understand. And I hope you enjoy the video, um, if you like, like my video, subscribe and leave it on YouTube, have another recipe every single day, feel inspired. Um, to try your own fasting if you like. It's very easy. Don't, don't overdo it. Plan ahead a little bit. And you can also go to Facebook page Tree Yoga Moon Fasting. That is where the gentle moon fasting comes from, from the Tree Yoga uh, yoga style. Tree Yoga, three, tree, yoga, <laughs> try yoga, you can also say. That's a, the funny thing. Uh, it's from Yogini Kaliji. That's a Yogini. She's world renowned. She teaches everywhere. And um, She's the founder of that style, and I, it's the flow. The flow comes into yoga with Yogini Kaliji, and um, she's very inspired. And uh, yeah, has a lot of good ideas, and that is also from her this idea to make it gentle, to make it non-violent. She also made yoga um, the non-violent lifestyle. So that is her tree yoga is um, the, uh, one of the first yoga um, styles that's really um, expressively vegan. Yeah. And that's also one of the new thing when yoga world, when, when she uh, began to travel, she wondered why the yoga people are not vegan, most of them maybe vegetarian or so, but not even that. And she was always wondering why it's yoga is not, is not that, it is not at all about non-violence, so why do they still eat animals or, or animal products? And through her, uh, more and more yoga became um, also a place of non-violence and veganism. And yeah, that's something of her. She's a very strong vegan advocate. Uh, she's my teacher and I'm very proud to be a st student. And yeah, I, I also um, like this fantastic gentle juice fasting 
uh, for me. And if you have a look uh, at Facebook Tree Yoga Moon Fasting to find all the recipes there, the juice recipes for the, and the moon calendar for the best fasting days, if you, if you want to go deeper and yeah, you can also chat of course there. Hope to see you soon.